Cosmic family, man. Peace, cosmic family, man. How y'all doing? <clears throat> Currently just outside right now, man. Just soaking up some of this nature. You know, soaking up some of this, uh, soaking up some of these vibrations and cosmic energies and shit that's like coming down on this earth, you know, that we live on. So it's like, you know, I just want y'all to, um, uh, think about this question right here real quick. What's the difference <clears throat> between being awake, right? Like how I am right now versus like being asleep. Like what's the difference? Like Like is it really a is it really a difference? Like is it really a difference? Like, it's not. Because, like, when you go to sleep, you don't even know that you sleep. And when you awake, you don't even know that you went to sleep. So, it's like, I don't know. Think about that. I was having a conversation with my mom and whatever like that. You know, she was kind of on, like, the hot side and shit. I'm trying to basically tell her to, like, calm down and whatever like that. So, I started telling her about the stars and shit. Well, we know they planets and whatever like that, but we know, like, they are, like, perfectly placed in the cosmos, right? They perfectly placed in the cosmos. Completely unbothered, right? The trees are unbothered. The animals are unbothered, right? They live, you know, they cycle life how they live it, right? But the only time that nature is bothered and fucked up is when we come put our man-made structures and shit on there, right? Like, right now, I'm on fucking concrete. I'm fucking concrete and shit. You know, big-ass apartment complexes in front of me. Right? Once all this shit was like land, like, people don't even understand that, though. Right, people want to be free and shit like that, but people don't want to stop paying their rent. People don't want to stop fucking paying their fucking car note, right? How they charging us for, how they charging us to stay on land that's fucking ours. Like, that shit don't make no sense. And then all the complexes and shit that we live in are owned by, you know, the powerful. They owned by rich, powerful elites and shit like that. So it's like... <clears throat> Shit, do we really have any con control unless we give them control? The only control that they have is the control that we give them. It's hella apartment buildings over here. If every last single person stopped paying their fucking rent, what the fuck are they going to do about that shit? Like, think about that. What the fuck are they going to do? It's too many people over here, and they just willingly stop paying their shit. People don't understand the power of unity and shit like that. People don't understand that... Us is, you know, us is uh, gods and goddesses, right? Shit, they took everything from us. They took our divinity and shit like that. We still have post-slave syndrome and shit like that. People don't even know why the black family is so separated. People don't understand why, you know, it's so much disloyalty and shit like that in the black community. But no, I just think about that shit, though, because it's kind of crazy, for real, for real, like. Oh, uh, no, I ain't see him. But no, it's just, it's just crazy to me, like, for real. And then we continue to live this motherfucking life and shit that we live, right, that we dwell in, you know, only making it possible for our kids to go through the same shit that we went through that's why the fucking cycle continues that's why they gotta keep increasing the amount of bullshit that they give to us because we still teaching that shit to our kids like where where is the line gonna be drawn when we say you know what fuck this shit we ain't doing this shit because i don't want my child to grow up like this in this bullshit ass society like people need to really fucking like i don't know get in tune with nature get in tune with uh, yo, yo, past and shit like that.
you know, understand, understand the game that's being played on us on a daily motherfucking basis. Like, it's so crazy. From the food we eat, from the motherfucking water that we drink, man, everything's fucking polluted. They killing us every single motherfucking day. Like, I'm tired of living in this motherfucking society. I'm tired of living in this motherfucking society. I genuinely am. Shit, this is some bullshit. All our land, they didn't put fucking concrete, inorganic materials all through our shit. Put us in these bullshit-ass housing complexes that they charge hell is for rent. And then our kids gonna grow up and rent gonna be even higher. Yeah, we know this shit coming to an end, but it's still like... Fuck is you still paying your rent for? Like, fuck is anybody still listening to this fucking government? Fuck is anybody still doing any motherfucking thing? Or it's crazy. Like, we know that this shit is fucking lies. We know that it's bullshit, man. Shit, I want my mama. My mama got this right there, you know. But no, it's bullshit, cuz. Like, why is anybody still doing anything? And I be telling this same shit to my mama. And whatever like that. Because she just like that. And it's like... She said some bullshit. You know, bullshit ass society that we live in, right? Everything is, is bullshit. And the thing about it is, we know it's bullshit. People share it on the media and shit all the time. Don't nobody change. Don't nobody do anything fucking different. Everybody continue to follow the motherfucking bandwagon. Everybody continue to listen to the same bullshit ass music. You know what I'm saying? bullshit ass frequency. Everybody that he doing that shit, so it's like, I mean, it, it's just crazy to me because like, I don't understand how y'all can continue to still live in the fucking life. And then, like, what the fuck are you scared for, for real, for real? Like, what the fuck are you scared? What is? Why is anybody motherfucking scared knowing that the that your ancestors and knowing that the fucking universe is behind you, the planet is fucking taking herself back? Motherfuckers don't even understand that shit. All these fucking earthquakes and forest fires and all these wars and shit that's happening. If y'all do believe in the Bible, just know that we fucking living in revelations. Why the fuck is anybody still doing anything? Motherfuckers is brainwashed out here. Motherfuckers third eye is completely not activated. None of that shit. It's fucking crazy. I'm over here like literally stargazing and shit while like telling y'all this video. Or explaining to y'all just on this video, man. Like we need to really come together. Shit. People need to come to realization about the trauma and shit like that that we actually been through the fact like people who know that the black community suffers the most out of any other fucking uh demographic in the fucking world we suffer more than anybody shit and we don't study post-slave syndrome we don't study why you know we act a certain motherfucking way towards each other right we can always say, damn, the, 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 the Mexicans and whatever like that, the motherfucking uh, Chinese and they're all, all them motherfuckers can motherfucking uh, work together and do shit. The thing about it is we always had a family. Shit, we, people say the black community don't have a family or we don't have like a family, but we do have a family. It's just not organized. There is not any organized team work. They been, they always wanted to, push individuality in our fucking faces so we can you know sway away from our brothers and sisters out here like how we think now versus how we thought in the fucking 80s and the 70s like it's bullshit we know that it's continuing to get worse why is everybody still doing the same shit man i ain't trying to make this video too long on some shit like that but it's like i feel like i need to get this motherfucker out there man to really explain to y'all like this bullshit ass world that we live in, man, it ain't motherfucking worth it. Sanctuary. Yeah, it, it, it's just not worth it, man. Ain't none of this shit worth it. And I'm and I'm coming to a point in my life where it's like, shit, I don't want my son to go through this shit, so I'm willing to die, shit, like right motherfucking now. On some shit like that for my real freedom, for my real sovereignty. Like, fuck all this bullshit. Nigga, I want to be able to walk on the motherfucking land and be like, okay, yeah, this mine. This is where I want to build my shit at. And everything like that. And live as I fucking want to. Like, fuck all that shit. Drink from the earth. Like, eat from the earth. Fuck all that shit. And we living in, in fucking slums and bullshit. Like, look how far that we came down from fucking 
castles and pyramids and everything great known to mankind. Like, we had that shit first. Like, it's time for motherfuckers to wake up. Like, for real. And, like, I can't even have a conversation with nobody no more without, you know, seeing the whole spectrum of it. Like, a motherfucker just can't tell me that they having problems with this person. Like, my mama, she tried to tell me that shit earlier. She was having problems with my other brother. And I'm telling her, you have to look at it from a psychology basis rather than saying, okay, I'm going to put him out. She look at it from psychology. Like, if he did this to you, if he did this to her and her or him, like, look at it from psychology. Don't be so quick to just push to the curve. And again, that's post-slave syndrome, but I ain't trying to make this video too long, man, but... Shit, man, y'all be cool, man. Shit, I say, I say, I say.